uh, the opt out form. I think uh, I, I think saw something. Live. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Wait a second, now I'm at... Why do I always... Keep doing. Okay, now you're live. You're live. It says live on We're Facebook. Good. Yeah. So, so this is actually live on Facebook right now? Yes, we are live. We're live. Hold on. Okay, now. Um, <laughs> we want to welcome everyone on uh, to our chat tonight and uh, bring you up to speed on um what happened today and uh where our organization stands and and uh all that good stuff so uh to start with i want to read an email to you that um that was sent today by judge frank let me flip back uh this was sent at 9 41 this morning to all of the attorneys on the case and it says thank you all for your correspondence after reviewing the correspondence received in the last few days, I do not plan on amending my prior order at this time. My hope was that the parties could meet this week and then we could talk again in order to potentially resolve this matter on December 8th. Also by that point, my hope was for there to perhaps be a final plan or at least a final response by the respondents with regard to the petitioner's submissions. Apparently, the respondents do not wish to go that route. I can certainly adjourn the December 8th date, though I do ask what nice if document there is in support of the cross motion. Perhaps I am missing something, but I do, don't see any affirmations in support of that. It seems unlikely with a preliminary injunction in effect that I would grant the cross motion to dismiss. So it is not impossible. Please advise if you still wish for me to adjourn for response to the cross motion, and I will do so. Signed, the Honorable Lyle E. Frank. Um, so that said, basically what the judge did was he decided to keep the status quo. So we were all very, very happy to hear that this morning, which means um, that that what's happening right now, that you know, that the city cannot go through with this plan right now, is is still in effect. Um, then. The other thing we wanted to let you know is that tomorrow is November 30th, and that is the, the, the date that the city had uh, implemented that if you wished to change plans, um, not out of map, not, you know, not, not GHI, whatever, but specifically if you were looking to go from into an Aetna plan, an empire plan, another plan. Open that, enrollment. Say that again? Open enrollment for events tomorrow. So you need to change, if you want to change into a different plan, that you need to use the generic form and do so by tomorrow. The A33 hotline, you can do it on, You can do it via the line, which is open till 9 p.m. tonight, or you can um, uh, send in the form online, which is the preferable way, online or phone call, and, um, and do that by tomorrow, uh, close of business. So, get a reference number if you do anything from... Whoever you're speaking to, that if that if you don't take anything else away from this tonight, get a reference number is the most important thing. Yes, that's, that's the opt out form that you're referring to, Mary, and the generic opt out form. Yeah, but there are, there are other forms that would need to be submitted. Um, enrollment forms, if you're going into Aetna, uh, benefits change form uh, that's required by OLR. So if anyone has any questions, please send an email to NYC org of public service retirees at gmail.com and we'll send you uh, back a response. If you need certain forms, we'll do our best to get them to you. Perfect. <laughs> and remember, this is just for people looking to switch their current health care from whatever you're in to whatever you want to go in or to a plan that may not be around coming 2021, such as I'm going to go through the quick 2022. I'm oh, sorry, 2022. Aetna, HIP VIP, Cigna, uh, Blue Cross. Oh, I'm missing uh, one, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Um, basically, any plan that is not GHI senior care and not the new new math will not be available to new enrollees beginning January of 22. So you have to use your once in a lifetime, even though it's open enrollment period, you have to use your once in a lifetime because open enrollment would be effective January 1st. And these plans are theoretically closed to new enrollees effective January 1st. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, send us an email. And correct. And those people like Ellen, right. And people who are on senior care, don't do anything. Nothing. Stand fast, stand fast. We'll, we'll let you know when it's go time. So and if, you, if you already rescinded, don't panic. You can still have time to retake back your opt out from senior care. Don't panic right now because everything as per the judge's orders is to remain in place as it is today. The only issues that we had that we couldn't get a clear answer from the attorney on was what about the health insurance programs that the city is closing beginning in 2022 and rate increases for those other plans such as Cigna and, and has some changes in pricing on Empire, their plan. Empire Medicare related. Right. Empire Medicare related, which is going up like 300% or 400% on their charges. He said he couldn't, the judge wasn't clear on that on the 8th. Maybe we can get some more clarity on that, but that won't help you now. So if you want to change now, like Madeline said, and Marianne said, and Michelle said, <laughs> you're going to have to use the once in a lifetime, the generic form, your healthcare change form, in and, order, whatever and then what other ancillary forms that that insurance provider may or may not require. So it is not a small and easy process. We realize people are going to be confused. So we're going to take it easy and we're going to try and help you through it as much as we can. Good points. So with that, um, it, we think that that was a, a very good decision today by the judge. Um, Carol, I believe the, judges, the judge didn't change his injunction on the opt-out date. Yes. So for the GHI people, for everybody, basically, if you're not wanting to, he, did, he left to stay in place. There's city cannot do anything other than the only thing that you need to know is if you were looking to change plans and you're not going to, um, you're not, you're not uh, changing, you know, going, staying into the GHI, you want to stay in the GHI plan. Um, if you want to go into the Aetna plan or the Empire plan or one of those other plans, though, this message is for you. You should make your decision for tomorrow's deadline because those plans will be gone. All of the GHI people, stay where you are because the judge left the stay in place regarding these changes. The plan cannot be implemented. Um, so stay tuned because our next court date is December 8th. And even if the judge lifted the TRO on December the 8th, he's got to give an adequate amount of time, which would most likely be at least 30 days for you to opt out of the plan or make your decision on where you want to be. Yeah. If anyone would like to stay, if they're in HIF fifth and want to stay there, you don't need to do anything. If you are in Empire Medicare related, you don't need to do anything and you want to stay there. Cigna, the same thing. Okay, and I know that there's other plans. What we're referring to is strictly if people want to switch to a different plan that will not be available in January, that needs to be done by close of business tomorrow. Right. Um, I'm not going to reread the judge's email. I'm sorry, but because you want to we have a lot more things to say and we don't want this to go on forever, but this will replay when we're finished. Play it again and you'll hear me say the whole thing right in the beginning. So moving forward, Madeline, uh, I'm passing the torch to you. The floor is yours. You can go ahead with your update. Well, we reached our goal today. Yeah. We, yep. <laughs> we are slightly <laughs> over, <laughs> slightly over $250,000. You guys are absolutely amazing. Great job, guys. You have kept me incredibly busy, uh, but it's a good busy. Um, I, I don't think I've ever seen so many checks in my life in one place, <laughs> um, but it's great. Um, 
It really is great. It's great that we've reached our goal. I did pay um, the two outstanding invoices today, so that you know was one hundred and twelve thousand um, dollars. We are going to. Have, I know. I'm sorry to burst everybody's bubble. Um, we are going to have invoices for November. Of course, we don't know what that is, what those amounts will be until we get them, which um, estimating should be sometime next week. Um, we did speak to Steve today. Marion, you're going to make me break this news. We did speak to Steve today about, um, you know, where we stood and what he expected might be the additional costs after November to continue our fight because the injunction was one part. The other part of the fight is about proving the legality of what's being done. Um, so, so the estimated goal for that is another two hundred thousand dollars. So, but I think we got this down now. <laughs> yeah, we know what we're doing now. <laughs> Listen, we know guys, what we're, we're doing. We know we what we're doing. Took care of Pollock and Collins Christmas bonuses. <laughs> when, 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 when you hear us throwing around these numbers, we we don't take them lightly. We understand. There are, it's a lot of money. It's it's a big amount of money. But again, there are almost 12,000 members now on our page. And yeah. 12,000 members, if everybody just gave in a small piece, uh, even on a recurring basis, like they, we've got a lot of people that have started to do the recurring donations to the fund, you know, 50, 100, 200 dollars, whatever, whatever you want to make it. Remember, you all were so willing three, four weeks ago to pay $200 a month. Well, guess what? Maybe you should consider that $100 or $150 as an investment and a savings to what this could have cost you over the course of a year to fight that battle. So, you know, give the money. We're fighting for you. It's not just us that sit up here on the screen that you're watching and saying, give money. You know, we're not the... the the Jerry Lewis telethon, and we don't want to have to say it every day, but it's an unfortunate fact. We we have to say certain things every day, and the redundancy is driving me crazy. It's wearing on us, too. Yes. Um, getting, um, you know, telling your former colleagues, even active people that are coming close to retirement age, the younger people don't care. They, they, their heads are someplace else. But... As we bring more people into the group, those are more potential resources. So, you know, it really is incumbent on everybody. Speak to everybody you know who is affected by this. Let them know what's going on. They don't have to join the Facebook group. A lot of people don't want to. Um, they can, you know, they could still make a contribution and they can uh, join, join up for our email newsletter on our website and they can go to the website to get information if as well as see our videos video. and they can also see all of our videos on the website because there's a link to our youtube page oh i so didn't they, even realize and we'll add this one up there as well so you know they, 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 even if they're not on facebook they could still see what's going on and, mm -hmm. and 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 be informed we need to get everybody informed the cities do a horrendous job of doing it mm -hmm. but, uh, steve's count today was what do you say, like 70, not even 70,000 people were oh, notified 80, by 80, this? 87,000 people have uh, attended the webinars that oh, were posted. Actually, it, it was 38,000. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, it was 38,000 people have attended those webinars, those crazy <laughs> webinars that I had to listen to. I did um, too many numbers right, today. <laughs> right. That, only and that's that's a fraction that's 15 percent of the retiree workforce so, that has so actually exactly. listened to to what's been going on which is is scary it's right. very so scary the city's not doing a great job of getting it out we have to do it for ourselves we have to get the retirees informed we have to get the older retirees who aren't technologically set challenged who don't have computers in their home, who only read newspapers, who maybe not coming out because of COVID and they're scared. We, we need to get to these people. We got to get them notified. We got to get them educated and on board with our fight because they have just as much say as everybody sitting up there. I mean, we had a heartbreaking story about a gentleman who was retired 
from the fire department who's in his late eighties, who was probably not making more than a thousand dollars in a month, and he was faced with six hundred dollars a month in, you know, in insurance costs, and he couldn't afford it, you know, and live on what? Nothing, four hundred dollars. You know, our hearts break for these people. We need that. There's more of them out there. There's more of these people out there who are in really, really tiny pensions that need to know about what's going on. This is going to hurt them more than us. I'm I'm one of those uh, sitting on the fence, and I don't know if it's been made clear enough. If you uh, opt out and go with Aetna, you uh, can't opt uh, back in. Is that right? At what point? After January, after January 1st, 2022. Probably not. If there you are... leave that here now, you cannot go back in after, after January, correct. You need to be in it before or before the end of the year. So you have to get, if, you, if you're wanting to go into Aetna, or you previously left Aetna and want to go back into Aetna, it has to be done in December. And it has to be done tomorrow because tomorrow is the end of open enrollment. Right. Well, tomorrow is the close date. Correct. Right. Correct. So you have to do it by tomorrow. Correct. And like we said to everyone, that, that hotline, the A33 hotline is open till 9 p.m. tonight. And then it's open again tomorrow. So that you can go ahead and do that tomorrow. Just in that situation. So um, we want to keep this short. Do we want to add anything else and then wrap it up? I just have one quick thing. When you're posting things to the page, if you could please look around a little bit, the announcement tab, the uh, scroll through the page, we've had redundant posts. The moderators are having a hard time keeping up with it. And that's why we're closing down a lot of stuff and deleting stuff. You know, we had like 15 people post the New York Post article today. We all saw it, we know it was there. We appreciate it. We shared it with everybody on the page. We don't need to have it shared 15 individual times. It just causes chaos and it jams up the page that people can't find valuable and important information. Right. Give the administrators and moderators time to answer. Hey, Dad, please don't attack the moderator. Okay. If your post gets, uh, your comments get shut off or, or your post gets removed, there's a reason for it. And unless you want to step up and do their job, I suggest you don't attack them. Right. It won't be tolerated. If you abuse the moderators, you abuse the other members, you're disrespectful to people, you're going to get a warning, you're going, get, you're going to get blocked from posting, and then eventually, if you continue it, you're going to get asked to leave the page nicely by me. So, that said. <laughs> um, just, just an aside, uh, I got a call today from a, a widow that's on COBRA. Now, does anyone know what the COBRA rate is? I know it's uh, 102 percent of uh, of what the plan is. So uh, uh, she's in GHI senior care. So she's what paying 191 plus plus two uh, percent. She's probably. She's my understanding is that people who are on GHI senior care as COBRA are paying about 212 dollars a month. So that would be equivalent to about uh, 191 plus 2% or so? No, actually, it's more because I, I think like you, take the, you take the 191 12. plus the 750, 198. It's, it's, I haven't been able to figure out the exact how they derived that exact number, but other people who are on COBRA with GHI senior care are paying about $212 a month. 212. Mm-hmm. Is that equivalent to something like uh, AARP? No idea. And no idea either. So I was hard, hard pressed to give up any good information. If you want to email me, Kenny, um, do so with, a, with a, whatever questions you have, and we'll try to get her the best advice that we can. Okay. We'll do. So, Thanks. So I'd like to just wrap this up to keep it short. That way everyone can get the message concisely. Um, we will get go back through the thread and start to answer some of your questions. Um, for the rest of the board members, if you have a few questions, because some of you joined us late in the game. Um, I know Lee signed on late, Len signed in late. Um, so if you'd like to uh, 
um, join us back. Um, we, we will just log off of this. You can re-log back on and then we'll start to chat amongst ourselves, catch those few board members up and then call it a night. So, um, Len Rodberg, Len, can you hear me? I don't even know if Len, Len, Len can hear me. I'll check. I'll see if I can. Michael, can you message Len and let him know? Cause I don't even think he knows his screen. He's got his mic off. off. He's got his mic off. I don't already. think he knows he's on. I don't think he knows he's on because he's carrying on a conversation with somebody else. At the yeah, I guess that's why I have his mic off. Right now. So just tell him to re to log. We're going to log out and tell him to join us again. And then we can talk amongst the board and then have a quick meeting and then call it an evening for us. So for yeah, everyone, yeah. thank you for supporting us. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for getting us to the end of this fundraiser. Madeline will then soon start putting up the next logo with the new <laughs> fundraiser. Uh, hey, I learned how to do it. I finally learned how to do it. How to do the thermometer. <laughs> the new the new graphic thermometer is. Yeah. So um, and then we'll we'll um, we will talk to you soon. So uh, we are we are still on the good side of this, and and we wanted to bring you that good news. Um, I guess a post happy Thanksgiving for you know something else to be thankful for is is that the, the judge sees that that. Uh, Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. You guys rock. Keep it up. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Festivus. Yes. <laughs> Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> so have a good night, everyone, and um, we will uh, be in touch soon. Yes. Good night, everyone. Good night. Have a, have a good night.